Now, I haven't actually been like checking to see how, like, if I look okay before videos. Not that that's a thing or anything, but sorry, not sorry if I look awful. Before we get started, uh, I would like to say that if you want to know my opinion on the whole Macklemore singing at the Grammys equality thingy, you just watch the video here and you basically have my opinion entirely. But today I want to talk about the relatively new show on HBO called Looking. It's essentially about three friends who are looking at, eh, eh, see what I did? It's kind of looking for love, looking for good times, and just living life, you know, in the big city of San Francisco. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. Essentially covers the stories of three men in particular, the first one being Patrick. Patrick's kind of this awkward and super, super adorable young man who is kind of trying to find his way into the dating scene, but also is kind of not sure if he's ready and kind of gives off the vibe that he keeps wanting to hook up and he's just kind of turns into a mess but then he meets this guy and maybe things will go well, maybe they won't. Uh. Then we have Augustine, I think I'm saying his name right. He is currently in a relationship and they've recently kind of started being in an open relationship and he's kind of trying to figure out how to deal with it or just to not even deal with it at all. But we haven't gotten far enough in the show to know yet. And then our last main character is Dom, who is an older gay male who is very bitter for reasons that I'm not going to spoil just in case you actually want to watch it. I will have you know that I was very upset about why he was bitter and I wanted to give him the biggest hug because you don't deserve that. And because of this bitterness that he has, he kind of numbs the pain by looking on Grindr for random hookups all the time. Yeah. The show is just so great because it doesn't really overemphasize the fact that they're gay people who are in a gay dating scene. It's not like they're like, ooh look, gay people dating gay people, look at these gay people, there are gay people here, and there's gay people, and this person's gay, and this person's gay, and everyone's gay. <gasps> yeah, it's not like that. I feel like this is something that we need in today's society compared to the, you know, shows where the gay people featured in it are, you know, kind of having struggles of being gay and that's kind of what is, is focused on even though that's kind of realistic it's kind of you know we know the struggles but now we just need to be in society as the norm it does include struggles of being gay mostly in the dating scene but they don't really present it as something that's like only happens because you're gay it just they kind of present it as this is just a struggle that these certain people are having in their dating life. They just don't really make a big deal out of it, which is something that I like a lot. And I just like that we get such a broad view of what the gay dating scene can be like from these three different characters because it's, it's very interesting. I just love that this show exists now because it's just kind of saying like, hey yo, gay people are normal. This is what they do. Their lifestyles are just kind of like ours, but they just date people of the same gender. Big whoop. So essentially looking is now a show that I'm going to keep up with forever. Well, not forever, at least. It's just till it ends. But if it gets canceled, if it gets canceled. So if this is a show you're interested in watching, it is on HBO and comes on at 10.30. Don't ask me to figure out time zones. I don't know. The show also made me realize that I probably should have been looking out for more, you know, attractive gay actors like Jonathan Groff. How did I go my entire life not knowing that he existed? I mean, seriously. Just look at that. Look at that. So, as per usual, if you like the video, please like it. Share if you would like, because that's cool too. I like when people share things, except for the bad things. I don't know why you would share a bad thing, because that's mean. Don't do that. Subscribe if you'd like. I post new videos every Tuesday about things in the LGBT community and in the media. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday. What? I don't know why I tilted my head like to the side. Just, I don't know what I'm doing anymore.